Weasel. Just keep your eye open. And remember, this is very important. Whatever happens, stay put and wait for us. Yeah, but what happened? Just do it. You're gonna pay very big for this. quantities of gold into Turtle Key, underlying the importance of Turtle Key as a major tax haven center of this hemisphere. Where the gold is going is not yet known, but it's around. Stay with 1010 on your dial to KTTC Turtle Key. Yeah.
I'm home, dear. <laughs> Everything is going great. Oh, I feel so good. The world is such a beautiful place. You know, pal, I really think I got my life going right. <sighs> Remember how schizophrenic I used to be? Happy, sad, happy, sad. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm not like that anymore. Now I'm calm. And Long happy. distance call for Mr. Wheeler. What? Hello, Josh Wheeler. How do, Josh? I hear things are going well for you. Couldn't be better. Who is this? It's been a long time, Josh. Too long. Who is this? Why, Josh, we used to have some good times. Remember the fur heist? Fur heist? He ran out on us. We took the rap, Josh. Whatever happens, stay put and wait for us. Weasel. Weasel, you, is that you? You owe me, Josh. For old times' sake. I certainly owe you a favor. I owe you a lot, Weasel. What do you want? I got a few of the boys who need to get away for a little fun and sun, if you know what I mean. Oh. You have a few guys, they, the heat's on, they need a place to cool off. Yeah, you got sure. it. Sure. Well, send them down. Oh, yeah. No problem. No, no, look at look. And I'll, I'll think of some kind of cover. I'll, I'll take care of everything. Okay. Gee, thanks, Josh. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you could swim with the fishes. You're fish bait, Josh. Okay, bye. Oh, my God. What am I going to do, Bernie? I got to think of something. <laughs> I can't think of a cover for these guys. I need a cover for these guys. Help me, Bertie, help me. And for the bunkers. International Golf Federation? Oh, Bertie. <laughs> Bertie, you're a genius. Thanks, pal. I couldn't do it without you. No sweat. <laughs> My friend, today is our lucky day. Uh, Josh, what do you think? A little to the left. I just got a call. The call we've been waiting for. Want a grand finger? Get towels are in. Uh, the International Golf Federation. The whom? The International Golf Federation. They're the organization that rates all the golf courses. Well, they're coming down to Turtle Key. And all we have to do is put on a little golf tournament so they can see the course. All right, let's see. We have a week open in February. Well, they were thinking of coming a little sooner. Like when? Tomorrow. Josh, are you out of your mind? There's no way we can have a tournament now. I mean, we have the uh, vintage car people here now. Next week, it's the bankers. If they say our course is okay, we'll have all the really big shooters here all the time. Josh, we No. Besides, we are filled to capacity. What do we need the big shooters for, huh? My brother's wife, she thinks she's macrame, and my wife thinks she's Carol. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ernesto, I need an answer today. I gave you an answer. The answer is no. But these are important people. They have important friends. They'll bring them down with them. People with money. People with influence. People from Hollywood. Stars? Well, if you consider Clint Eastwood a star. I cannot. And all we have to do is host these officials? That's right. Uh, we can put the tournament on on Tuesday and they will be here? Whatever you say. And with them will be movie stars like Clint Eastwood? Oh, well, Christ. not, 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 not right away. Josh, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Don't get I mean, carried away here. I am so lucky to have a friend like you. Thank oh, you. Oh, this will be a dream come true for me. I will get to meet Don't Chucky do Bronson. Don't do Clint it. Eastwood. Oh, oh, Josh, Josh, I know you will put on the best darn tournament possible. Okay. I have faith in you. Leave it with me.
This is awful. Terrible. The man has confidence in me. How am I going to get a bunch of celebrities here in no time flat under false pretenses? Give a kid a break. Ah. Wait a minute. My nephew. My sister's kid. What's his name? Come on. Come on. Stanley Dork. Stanley Loeb. Stanley Loeb. He's an impressionist. He sent me his picture resume. Might work. As Christopher Columbus was heard to exclaim when he landed on the shores of North America, He's a Christ! I should have turned left! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Communication and transportation had certainly come a long way in 400 years. In fact, I was communicating to my cat the other day. I said, <laughs> No, you can't have the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Animals are smart, though. Don't kid yourself. Some animals are smarter than human beings. Look at whales and dolphins, for instance. A very intelligent species. In fact, I voted for Greenpeace in the last election. So now I'm out of a job and 20 whales are collecting my unemployment check. <laughs> I tell you, it doesn't get any better. But like Flipper used to say to me, <coughs> have fun. Why don't you take an ocean-going mammal to lunch? <laughs> Thank you. Stanley, you backstage, okay? Sure thing. Stanley Lowe, ladies and gentlemen. A real Yuck Yuck's favorite and one of the closest friends I have in this business. I wonder what so, he wants with me, now, unless he wants me to headline, that's it. He wants me to be a regular excellent. Okay, have a good one. Take your time, all right? Oh, perfect. Now, all I have to do is just expand on those dolphin beats, just work on the flipper stuff, but yeah. <laughs> but goodbye to the day job. Man, that's perfect. Stanley, it's me. Okay, just a second. Okay, only the good stuff. You were great. Oh, thanks. Look, I really like to make them think out there. That's what I try for. Not just the jokes, but thought. Make them think. Well, you made me think. I've been thinking about your career. Come on, have a seat. Stanley. Uh-huh. Can I be 100% honest with you? Shoot. <laughs> well, Stanley, you're beautiful. Huh, thanks. No, I mean that. Thanks. You are beautiful. We all think you are. Thank but you. But there are a couple of things about your career I think you should consider. Sure. Okay, the, the first thing is, I think, I think you should take some time off. Just maybe a year, year and a half. Yeah. Just enough time, yeah, just enough time to kind of reorient yourself from what you're doing. Redefine some jokes and stuff. Yeah, that's right, yeah. that's right. Now, the second thing I think you should do, cut the impressions. They're passe. Nobody does them anymore. Even my dolphin stuff? Especially the dolphin stuff. All right? Drop them from your Okay? Sure. Okay. Sure, yeah. Now, the third thing I, I want to tell you, and I really want you to remember this, this is the most important thing you can do. Don't quit your day job. I hate my day job. Don't quit it. Are we keeping you up, Mr. Lowe? The most important thing you can do right now for your career is this. Are we keeping you up, Mr. Lowe? There's a water cooler right down at the end of the hall if you'd like to refresh yourself. Do not quit your day job. I am trying to give you an opportunity here, Mr. Lowe, but I need your cooperation. I hate my day job. It provides me with ulcers. I do not believe that you heard one word that I said, have you, Mr. Lowe? Pardon? You haven't heard one word that I've said, Mr. Lowe. We do not pay you to daydream here, you know. We pay you to work. And when we pay you to work, Mr. Lowe, we need you to work! Hello, Stanley? Uncle Denise. Long distance. Stanley? Yeah, it's Uncle Josh. Josh. Josh Wheeler. Your mother's younger brother? No, 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 that, that's Uncle Jake. He's in the Navy. 
Yes, that's right, the resort. Well, yes, I do have your resume and picture here. I got it. Thanks very much. Yeah, well, that's why I'm calling. I think I have something for you. I expect these in my computer terminal by four, Mr. Lowe. Not one minute later. Did you hear what I said, Mr. Lowe? Yeah, just hold on a second, Uncle Josh. Sure, it sounds good to me. I'll be down. Well, Mr. Lowe, will I have these papers or not? Oh, you'll have your papers, Miss Myers. Good, good. In fact, you know, you don't even have to wait until four o'clock to have them. Good. You can have them right now. How's that sound to you, huh? You can have a couple over here. And, uh, it hurt to have a few over there. Buddy, huh? Have a few in around there. What are you doing? I'll put a pile on the floor right there. Uh, Mr. Lowe, you pick up this mess right now or I'll have your job. You'll have my job, will you, Miss Myers? Job. Well, how about if I tell you what I'm going to do about my job, okay? You can take my job along with all the double indemnities, your triple life annuities, and your forms and your life savings programs, and you can completely and irrevocably place them up your computer terminal, okay? Because I quit! Yeah. back home. Excuse me, can I get a word in edgewise, please? And don't eat with your mouth full. Thank you. No dip. Well, apparently, mm -hmm. what they're doing is the Arabs are putting their money in gold. They're bringing their gold and burying it right here in our island, mm -hmm. right in our own backyard. There's thousands and thousands of dollars in gold here. They've got so much money tied up in gold here, they don't even know how much they've got. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, somebody could come along, take some of that gold, they wouldn't even notice it was gone. Somebody like, uh, Mm-hmm. Like me, for instance. You're heading for trouble, Josh. So that is quite a trophy. You've really outdone yourself. Do you think Mr. Eastwood will like it? I think it'll make his day. Oh, this is so exciting.
You know, I had a premonition last night, kind of a dream about the trophy, and my second sense tells me it would be safer in my office. No, no, no. The trophy is safe where it is. Come in, John. Well, I'm going to talk to you about the trophy. Well, you're the boss, so whatever you say, but I just don't Josh, feel the safe. the trophy is safe? What happened here? My picture's my chair. You see, my premonition was right. I don't feel safe about the trophy being here. There's, there's too many valuable things to attract a robber. <laughs> Oh, here it is, Josh. With only scratch. Oh, good. <sighs> well, I think we should find a small apartment, a place where no robber would think there'd be anything valuable. Josh, uh, why don't you keep the trophy at your place? Wheeler will find out he has more on his hands than he bargained for. Hey, hi, sweetheart. Aggie, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night. Give me a uh, Brian ginger. going to share your nuts? Or are you going to keep them all to yourself? Hello, I'm Josh Wheeler. Fatima. Fatima? Is that an Irish name? Would you like a nut? I'd love it. So what brings you to Turtle Key? <clears throat> You'd love to swing. <coughs> <coughs> you like a drink? Champagne. A case of champagne, please. Now we are finally alone. Ay, 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 ay. What? If my brothers knew I was alone with you here tonight, I don't know what they would do to you. Don't even think about it. But I could come back tomorrow. You could come back whenever you can get away. But how will I get in if you're not here? 
I'll get you a key. Yes. Hurry, hurry, my darling. Oh, gosh. Good night, Bertie. Oh, until tomorrow. Do you think it would be possible for Mr. Eastwood to say a few words at the award ceremony? Oh, sure, if he wants to, it's fine. Oh, Hello, Josh Wheeler. Hello, Josh Wheeler. Can Uncle Josh? Yes, Mr. Eastwood. Yes, Clint Eastwood. Yes, of course. How are you, Clint? I hear you're coming down. Of course. Uh, wonderful. What well, we were just talking to. Yeah, we were just talking to Ernesto. I'm Stanley Lowe. Yes, the owner. Yes. He'd like to talk to you right now. Yeah, just a moment. <clears throat> uh, uh, Mr. Eastwood, uh, I have to tell you, I am one of your biggest fans. I have seen every one of your pictures five times. My wife says that I'd like to look at them more than I'd like to look at her, but but, uh, uh, but she's wrong about that. I love my Marie. Anyway, I am looking forward to meeting you. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Eastwood. Uh, I mean, ciao. Oh, Josh, I am the happiest man in the world. <laughs> Turtle Key, I'm Josh Wheeler. I'm Aldo, the Fix Martini. Aldo, how do you do? This is Sarah May. Hello. This is Holly. Hi. Hi. Nice <laughs> to meet you. And this is Mr. Charles Doherty. This comes stick. Stick. <laughs> They're just checking out the golf course. Now, they're not the normal golfer type. I think it's the Hollywood influence. Here they are. This is Ernesto. He's the owner of our lovely club. And this is Holly. Isn't she lovely? Hi. And of course, one of the officials, Aldo Mar uh, Al Martin. on your mind, Stick? I want to win that golf tournament. We'd all like to win the golf tournament. I think you don't understand me correct. I'm gonna win that golf tournament. I don't like to lose. Losing makes me cranky. I don't want you to be cranky, Stick. Look, I'm not a betting man, but I place a big bet on you winning that tournament. Just, just leave it with me. You just made me a very happy man. Well, I'm happy if you're happy. Say, how, uh, how good a golfer are you? I don't know. I never tried. 
No bad habits. <laughs> Ernesto! Ernesto, please. Uh, yes, Josh, I would like to meet the other official. Of course. Okay. This is Mr. Doherty. Uh, Mr. Doherty. Ah, Mr. Doherty. Mr. Doherty, Aggie, your instructor for today. Okay, let's get going. I'd better get this one, Mr. Doherty. Okay, Mr. Doherty. All you gotta do is make sure you got just the right grip so you get just enough power. I understand you play guitar. No. Well, it's said in your resume under interests playing guitar. I'm interested in it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why do you write that if it's not true? Just so I can get work. Uh, yeah. I'll take it up if I have to. <laughs> well, I'm sure looking forward to hearing some of your impressions. I don't do impressions. What? No. You don't do impressions? No, I don't do impressions. Well, <laughs> of course you do. Everybody does impressions. Like. I've... If you had to do an impression, who would you do? Uh, who would I do? Uh, go ahead, make my day. Clint Eastwood. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I don't know any way to get out of this dump. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. Oh. Hey, girls. Just bought your present. $84. Each. Well, are you going to show them to us or what? Hey, I'm Paula. And I like you, Holly. I'm Petra. And I like you. Casual sex be nice. Don't you think? <laughs> the dolls are real cute, Aldo. Thank you. No thanks. Okay, Mr. Dorney. We're almost there. All you got to do is just ease it in. Just ease it in. Ease it in. How'd the game go? Ah, uh, that course sucks! <laughs> Stick! Uh, I've been practicing almost an hour, I'm still over par. It looks like you might not win that tournament after all, huh? 
I'm gonna win that tournament. It's the last thing you do. Think of me too many strokes to put it in that hole there. The pro says I need birdies. I need a lot of birdies to make it. Well, you know, Stick, you can make it with this little boy any time you like. Cut it, Sarah <laughs> May. This ain't funny. The tournament's the day after the morning. You better come up with something, Aldo. Distraction is up. Give me a couple hours. Let me uh, tease my brain. All you guys ever talk about is business. Can't you forget about it for one day? This is paradise. I ain't in the dice. The water, the sand, the sun. What sun? Hey, Stick, I'm Petra. <laughs> I like you. you Want to go goof around? Uh -huh. <sighs> God. Hi. That's quite a sunburn you've got. I don't think you're going to sleep very well tonight. You better get out of the sun right away. Is this your first time in the island? Yeah, does it show? Over most of your body. I think you only burn like this once. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look like a real bad suntan ad. Oh, i got to get going. Uncle Josh is expecting me. Oh. Oh, uh, oh you don't mean Josh Wheeler, do you? Yeah, he's my uncle. I'm here to help him with a golf tournament. My name's Stanley Lowe. Hi, I'm Holly Green. Hi. Do you have anything to put on that burn? Yeah, toothpaste, shaving cream, and underarm deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Look, why don't you come up to my room? I've got something that will reduce the inflammation. Jeez, are you a woman doctor? No, but um, I saw St. Elsewhere once. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that show. <laughs> hey, you think your boyfriend will mind? Oh, he's not my boyfriend. That's just Aldo. Oh, if he's just Aldo, then I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Just spent an hour checking out this golf course. We looked at every hole, every fairway, every green. You figured out a way for me to win? Yeah. We're gonna cheat. Of course we're gonna cheat, you idiot! But how? Well, I was... Uh... Well, what I was thinking was uh, using a small wireless electronic uh, homing device, you know? And... Uh... Then it would have a small chip, say the size of uh, a pea. And uh, this would be embedded into the, into the core of the golf ball so as not to impede its performance. Now, uh, home base, now that would be connected to the flag staff at each, at each hole. <laughs> now, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll trigger the device at the, uh, the mobile control center. So uh, when your ball gets within, uh, say, 50, 60 yards of the hole, it's drawn right in. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just thought of something. What do we get one of them, uh, what do you call them? Homing devices. Or we could do that. I'm easy. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm glad I thought of that. You stick with me, Arlo. You're going places. <clears throat> now, are you sure everything is set? Everything is set. Ah, good, Josh. Now, do you have the, uh, do you have the limos to pick up the stars yes, at the, the airport? Will be at the airport. Okay, is the banners made? The banner will be here this afternoon. Uh, what about the fruit the baskets, fruit baskets in will be room? in every room? Oh, I hope those Oh, my God! What? Sorry? Oh, Josh, this tournament is going to be a great success. <laughs> <laughs> we may be sitting on a gold mine. Yes. <laughs> oh, if, uh, if that's a movie star, I'm available day or night. But of course. <laughs> Hello, Josh Wheeler. Hello, Mr. Wheeler. This is Holly Green. Stanley's got a severe sunburn, but he's going to be okay in a couple of days. Sorry, hello? Who is this? Holly Green. Uh, Aldo has a sunburn? No, Stanley. What? Stanley Lowe. No. Your nephew, Stanley Lowe. Right. Anyways, he's resting here in my suite right now. Uh, I just thought I'd call and, and let you know so you wouldn't worry. He's going to be okay in a couple of days. Oh, and by the way, could you send all his clothes over, please? Bye. I feel all right about that. I remind you, this is the last bingo game of the evening, and we're playing for the grand prize, the $200 cash and the beautiful vest. Is everybody ready? 
So eyes down. Get ready for the next number. Under the eye. 29. Good number. Good number. Woo! <laughs> this is a great game, boss. Even you could win. <laughs> My chances are slimming, apparently. Is everyone ready for the next number? I can't hear you! Yeah! For the grand prize, the number is B6. Single. We have a winner, and look who it is, our own golf pro, Aggie. Congratulations, Aggie. Dick, I think it's a fix. That golf pro always wins. Checking the card, and yes, we do have a winner. Bingo. A tie. We have a tie for the grand prize. And Mr. Doherty, you have your choice between the $200 cash or the beautiful straw vest, which is worth way over quite a lot. I'll take the vest. You'll take the vest, which means we keep the cash. And that's it for Bingo tonight. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's party. Hey, everybody, come back. <laughs> your girl i don't have one don't get me wrong no no that oh you're thinking of the other girl yeah no that's uh, that's holly green it's an old uh, widow friend of mine mm -hmm. yeah she was uh, she was married to my old best friend you know pete green pete green pete green i got a picture of him i carry this around with me all the time yeah he's a little short jockey yeah we used to hang out all the time you know he used to fix races you know have a little fun <laughs> I mean, this one time, you know, Petey, we get the idea, right? Use a cattle prod. Use a cattle prod on the horse. It'll make it go faster, right? So he says, well, okay. So I says to him, I says, now look at whatever you do, when you're in there, in a starting gate, don't use a cattle prod. Now, he was a little slow, right? He's, he's slow thinking. So I, I, I said to him, I said, do you want me to write this down for you? And he said, no, 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 I'll remember, I'll remember. So, sure enough, the day of the race, right? Bell goes up, horse comes Flying out of the gate, right? <laughs> Flying out of the gate. <laughs> no Pete. No Pete. Pete wasn't anywhere. Couldn't see him anywhere. Looking all over the place. Looking all where's Pete? <laughs> and finally, there he was. Dead. <laughs> yeah, old Pete. He used the cattle prod in the starting gate. Horse reared up. Put his head right through the top of the starting gate. Had his legs dangling down there. It was kind of a windy day, too, you know, so made his legs sort of go back and forth. It was just as though he, he still had the will to walk. Boy, that was something. Anywho, Holly, I, you know, I sort of feel guilty about. So I, I take her wherever I go, you know. I just want to make her life happy, you know, because I want her to have a thrilling life, and I want to be part of it. I guess, I think it's just because I love people. You know, I love people. Bottom line, love them. That's beautiful. Don't be doing that. Don't, don't be touching me. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat Or help you at the automat Men grow cold as girls get old And we can't straighten up when we bend But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape Diamonds are a girl's best friend ba 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 da 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 ba ba Tiffany yeah, pa 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 da 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 pa pa. Cartier. She does Dietrich better than Dietrich. Thanks, Johnny. Hey, listen, you know everything in the hotel. Have you seen my nephew Stanley? You mean that short guy looks a lot like Tom Jones? Yeah, he's uh, three fifteen with a blonde. Yeah, I'll be taking care of that tomorrow morning. Josh Wheeler.
Maid service. Maid service. Maid service. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, good lord, Aunt Josh. You're supposed to be helping me out downstairs. Instead, you're up here fighting around with some dead jockey's wife. Hey, I didn't know he was a jockey. Is everything okay out there? I, yes, I'm just putting some chocolates on your pillow. Oh, chocolate's bonus. Shut up! Get up and come downstairs and help me out. Come on. Do I need a wig? No, shut up. Hello, I think that's everything. If there's anything I just... It's a maid. Hey, Granny, can't you read? Handicap parking. Come on. What are you, blind or something? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's start thinking, huh? Come on, let's go. Shake a tail feather here. Come on. It's not me, it's the law. Come on. Atta girl. Atta girl. You dirty rat. Stanley, is there somebody out there? No. No dirty rat. Josh, I am so happy you're here. Uh, have any of our honored guests arrived yet? I just had breakfast with Jack Nichols. Jack Nichols? What a wonderful guy. A yeah. sweet, kind, lovely guy. Mm -hmm. Josh, was... have you seen Stanley? We just had breakfast and then he disappeared. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. What a... And you know what he said to me? Yeah. I want to meet the guy who runs this place. I said, when you meet the guy who runs this place, you're... Josh, do you have any relatives on the house cleaning staff? No, why, why? Because he looks a lot like our maid. She's about that tall, and she's that wide. I just she's remember where Stanley is. He rolled a car on the 10th fairway. He she could use some oh help. My... Ernesto, oh. Ernesto. Damn. There's Jack Nicholson. Jack, Jack, over here. Jack Nicholson. Just when I got my goddamn drive down, I had to put it in the bushes. Here's Johnny. <laughs> there you are, you little geezer. Ernesto, <laughs> Ernesto, wait. What, what, what? Uh, Telephone call for you. Well, tell them I'll call back. I can't say that to the chairman of the board. The Iacocca? Frank Sinatra. For oh, Frank. Uh, Josh, uh, you tell Jack I'll be right back. Can't keep Frank waiting. <laughs> Hello, Frank. Go away! Go away! Oh. Josh, Josh, he hung up? Well, you can't keep the chairman of the board waiting. He's a very busy man. You know what I think we should do now, Ernesto? I think we should go to my office and get the trophy. Everybody should see it, don't you think? <laughs> Good idea. You know what Nicholson said to me? Platonic friend. <laughs> you sly dog. <laughs> I'll get the trophy. Out of the shower and your makeup's perfect. It's for you, my darling. What I'm here for. To serve you. And to love you.
Hey, what do you make of that? Looks like they up to something. They dress like those guys who sign the paper, you know? Yeah. What a part of that uh, syndicate, you know, beat it out of the island. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just thought of something. Those guys look identical to those guys that beat it out of... What was it, Ireland? Yeah. Who was that the part of that syndicate? Stick, you're absolutely right. You see, the Arabs have been bringing their gold here, and Wheeler found out where they were hiding it and helped himself to it. So now the Arabs think Wheeler's on the take. So they sent the belly dancer to try and find out where he's hidden it. What makes you think the belly dancer's in with the Arabs? I got it straight from the horse's mouth when I was following them. What are you doing following the Arabs? Well, I, I wanted to ask them where they got their hats. Boss, oh. if uh, Wheeler's in on that gold action, uh, maybe we better put the lean on him, huh? What makes you think you know anything about nothing? The drums, the, uh, they speak to me. You know, Wheeler's gonna have to cough up that gold, or he's gonna cough up blood. It's his choice. I wonder what he's gonna choose. Let's forget about tennis. Oh, no, you don't. You're not gonna get out of it that easy. You owe me at least one lesson. What are we going to play for? You, I hope. Stanley, why did you run out on me the other day? I looked everywhere for you. Well, I had to help Uncle Josh. Yeah, was that some big secret or something? Why couldn't you have told me or at least left a message? Well, it's not easy, you know. I'm just trying to fit in and help out the best I can. Do you know what it's all about? Well, I had thought it was about the golf tournament, but something tells me it's a lot more than that. Will you let me in on it? Please, Stanley. You're all I've got. Okay. Well, let's play tennis first. Okay. Okay, you now just see it the way they do on television, okay? It's a breeze. the gold we thought the bird might know where it is and spill his guts <laughs> the only thing he spilled around here i'm in trouble just ruined my new shoes maids on strike birdie want to see your pigeon in one piece again, be at the fat man's at four o'clock. And come along. Hey, what's the hurry, Wheeler? Not right now, Stick. I haven't got the time. You say you ain't got time for the stick? What's on your mind, Stick? Get in. that little birdie of yours? What's his name? Birdie. He's all right. That's not what I hear. I hear your little birdie's gone, Josh. I hear someone took your little birdie. Maybe a little belly dancing birdie, huh? Maybe it's because you took the gold, huh? You gotta watch these Arabs. You got long knives. They could have you singing soprano with nothing flat. You know, there's a syndicate there, I think. But you know, it's nothing we can't handle. And you know why? Because you and me, we's a team, Josh. We're partners, Josh. So you just do your job and stay out of trouble. I want that gold, Josh. 
and you just play it straight and there'll be no trouble. You just see to it that I win the tournament, the trophy, and the gold. You got that, John? right now. One, where's my birdie? And two, is Ann come alone? Fatima. I'll take good care of birdie, Wheeler. <laughs> Fatima and I are very interested in recovering the gold. We do not wish to harm you or your bird. It wouldn't bother me if I had to do it. Like the fat man says, we want our gold back. It's taken us a long time to get close to those a -rabs. We go back a long way, Wheeler, and no four-fusher like you is going to mess up our plans. No, sir. We got a lot of plans, big plans, good plans. Seems like you have a lot of plans. OK, fat man. You'll have your gold tomorrow morning on your boat. I hope you're lying about that, Mr. Wheeler. <laughs> Sayonara. Did you get it? Did I get it? Presenting the one. The only. This baby can do more things right. than I know. <laughs> I was up late last night, you know. I was trying to figure everything out. Right. You know, I had to try to get, you know, get things and go. Go, go, go. You, you know. But I was drinking a lot of coffee, you know, so I was up. But I was working, working, working. Finally came Aldo. to me. Came to me, you know, I had it on the ground. Oh, the goof. Called a goof. And, uh, it could work. It could work. Well, let's give it a try. This better work, Aldo. Trophies as good as yours. Yeah, I'm glad I thought of that. I like it. 
So tell me. No, no. What is it? Oh, no! Uh, apparently, uh, Gavin Upton scored a seven under par, and uh, that means you're going to need a birdie. And that'll force a playoff suddenly. Listen to me, Aldo. At the end of this hole, there's going to be a sudden death one way or another. Let's just hope it ain't yours. Me too. Please don't do it. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Uh, you blow your cover. Listen, Rita, at the awards banquet tonight, if Upton's name's on that trophy, my cover will not be the only thing that is blown. The bits! Now read me, Rita. Yeah, I'll take care of it, Stick. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy your coffee, sit back and relax. For soon we will present Mr. Tom Jones at Turtle Key. You're in a lot of trouble, Josh. You couldn't make the switch. I couldn't. He's got the winner's name on a list in his pocket. He's not going to budge with that till after the banquet. Aggie, my life's at stake. Do something. Do the best you can. Think of something. Make the switch. Please, I beg you. And I'm sure our celebrities will be joining us shortly. Showtime. <laughs> Showtime. You're naked poop. How could you be so clumsy? Aggie, what am I going to do? Don't worry. I can't introduce Tom Jones looking like this. Don't worry about it, asshole. Just huh? give me the coat. Huh? I said give me the coat. I can get it taken care of. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Don't worry about it. I can't believe I'm doing Tom Jones for a gang of golfers. I can't believe it. You sure my pants are tight enough? Tom Jones has... What are you laughing at me for? Stop laughing. I'm scared. I'm a scared man. Stanley, I'm doing the best I can. Do I have enough Relax. chains? I need oh, more chains. How's everybody? Sure happiness? How's Ready everybody? Ask me happiness. Listen, now, you're sure the band will give me the Don't uh, intro? Don't worry about the band. You do the best you can, okay? Okay, then. Now, what about the lights? The lights I'll are okay? The lights. They won't see a thing. Just do the best you can, okay, Stanley? Look, I don't do Tom Jones. What do you mean? You do a great Tom Jones. When? Tonight. Tonight you'll do a great Tom Jones. You'll do Tom Jones like no one ever did Tom Jones. Tonight, Stanley, you are Tom Jones. I am Tom Jones. Yes, yes! <laughs> Or a nest of all nice and clean, look sharp. Thank you, Aggie. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you have been waiting for. Mr. Tom Show! I've got flowers and lots of hours to spend with you. So go and powder your cute little pussycat No, What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, Jack, pussycat? Jack, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's terrible. Is that what you're doing? I know it's, it's a horrible thing, but I have the technicians working on it right now. Oh, good. Pussycat, pussycat, you're delicious. And if my wishes could all come true, I'd soon be kissing your sweet little pussycat lips. Kissing, kissing your lips. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you. Yes, I. 
cat eyes and your pussy cat smile and your pussy cat no And now, ladies and gentlemen, the other moment you have all been waiting. The winner, the winner of the Turtle Key first annual Pro Am Golf Tournament. <laughs> Here I have the winner in the sealed envelope. Now, we all know who it is, but as a matter of formality, <laughs> the winner is. Not Gavin Upton! Not Gavin Upton? <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a sudden death playoff tomorrow between Mr. Upton and Mr. Charles Francis Doherty. <laughs> Everybody, please stick around. Uh, the band will continue to play for your dancing. No, place. Aldo. Squealer's a lucky man. He gets to live another day. Josh, understand? You don't know what thought Upton was the winner. What are you doing here? Why, where am I supposed to be? You didn't get the message? No. Tom wants to meet you for a drink. Oh, fantastic. Where? At the Blue Lagoon. Oh. Why so far away? He wants to get away from all the fans. Hurry up, you're late. Oh. Hurry up. dreamt about going to places where these boats go. You know, they go all over the world. I just didn't want to go by myself. Fifteen more minutes, and his goose is cooked. I'm so serious. Greetings, friends. We are from headquarters. Yes, from headquarters. Headquarters? Ah, oh, it's been such a long journey. Perhaps we can sit down for a moment. Oh, ah, oh, look, Ahmed. Bishop. Bishop, what a beautiful birdcage. And such a lovely bird inside. What took you so long? My, I find it so stuffy in here. Perhaps, Ahmed. Bishop. Bishop. You could open the door for some cool air. I'll get the window. Open the door for the cool air to come in. Door? Oh, the door! Yes, the door! <laughs> ah, this is better now with the door open and the cool air. I'm wondering, perhaps your lovely bird would like some cold air too. Come, little birdie. Not so rough. Oh, look, the birdie had an accident. Here the whole time. It's Wheeler and his nephew. Look out! Look out! Oh, come on, bring it up! We got Bertie! Oh, you got Bertie! Adam's guns and everything! Oh. 
Could be his last shot. Bad luck for Upton. This could be the break that Doherty was waiting for. Dick, get back. Get this ball in, and he will have a birdie which will make him the winner of the Turtle Key. Pro-Am Celebrity Golf Tournament. Aggie, who are those people? Get out the golf course! Oh, they'll get a cut. When? Now! This is a bump. Black birdie for me. I hit your head. Okay, old timer. Come to a full halt here. Come on. Get out, out. There you go. Let's go. Come on, move. Move it or lose it. Hey. Don't forget your clubs either. <laughs> Stick. What's your favorite sandwich? I need.
What are we gonna do, Aldo? Well, let me noodle on it. Well, if we could just get our grubby little hands on some water wheels. Aldo. You know, something like a super deluxe police boat. Go, go, go. Get them. I'll get Willa. You shouldn't have involved them. Now then, the gold. Okay, let's go. Wrong again, Wheeler. Eliminate the evidence. No. Waste them. Wait a minute. Be careful, officer. Dick, we left. I had a hell of a time. You ever seen the bar so excited? Well, when you're happy, I'm happy, Stick. Come back anytime. I'll be back next month for the annual honorary law officer's banquet. Expect to see another golf tournament then, Wheeler. No problem. Come on, Aldo. Let's shove off. Uh, Stick, uh, I have something I have to tell you. I don't think you're going to like it. What is it? Never mind. But tell me. You're just gonna yell at me. No, no! Uh, well, as you know, we've uh, we've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows while we've been here, but... Well, it was during that in-between period that I, I found something. Me. What? Uh, I think it was Billy Barty who once said, Hey, guys, wait up. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is... Man's gotta be. He's gotta be. So do I. Stick, I think I understand what Aldo's trying to say. He's trying to say. 
trying to say that he loves you very much. But when the two of you get home, I think he wants things to be a bit different. No, that, that's not it at all. So what is it? I'm putting down some roots. I, I'm staying. Alto, a mug's gotta do what a mug's gotta do. I just never want to see your ugly mug again as long as I live. I was talking to Ernesto last night, and we were thinking we could use kind of an uh, entertainment director around here. You know, somebody to host all the shows, be the MC, that kind of thing. Uh, I, look, I'd love to, Uncle Josh, but uh, I got more pressing <laughs> problems to deal with in the city, you know what I mean? So you won't stay? No, but uh, thanks a million for the offer, though, you know? Thanks. Uh, Josh, I was thinking of having a reception for the new guests coming in today, say about 7 o'clock. What do you think of that idea? It's your department, whatever you say. Uh, you haven't met our new social director, Holly Green? Holly Green, hi. So I was thinking of having... Mm -hmm. Sorry, you won't be sticking around. Welcome to Turtle Key, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Bond. James Bond. Ha <laughs> 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 enjoy your stay here? We have monogram finger to thumbs. Josh. Look, our monogram fingertip towels are in. I'm happy if you're happy. Ah, Josh, now we have to talk about next year's All-Star Golf Tournament. Don't be touching this stuff. Don't be. Come on, you're turning off to customers. Come on, beat it. Come on, take a hike there. Come on, get your auto balls. Come on, come and get them while they're hot. And I mean that. In the good sense. We'll talk Long about distance from Mr. Wheeler. Hey, hello, Josh Wheeler. It's Weasel, Josh. Coming down. <laughs> Louise! Ah, stop the picture! Enough is enough! Yo, how come I didn't get to be in this movie? I could have wrote it, produced it, directed it, starred it. I could have done everything in one thing. If I ever get my hands on a parrot, he's dead. You know? I, I, I. I wonder why they never asked me to be in the film. Me and Harvey. Well, let me say this. Nancy and I were, were going to be in the film, but they didn't ask us. I mean, we're used to the heat. Uh, we've been in Nicaragua for, for long enough. I wonder how come they didn't ask me to write the music for this one. Well, I tell you, I get no respect. Never even asked me to do the film. How come I didn't get a cameo? <laughs> My fellow Americans, I'd, I'd, I'd just like to say that uh, they could have at least asked me to make a cameo appearance. How come I didn't get to play drums in this one? Are they going to make goofballs too? Go ahead, make goofballs too. No, Stallone only does one take. That's all, folks. Goodbye now. Arrgh. See you in goofballs, too. Arrgh. Good night, Birdie. I could have played drums, you know. <laughs> 